Welcome to our Drupal tutorial series. Today we are going to learn how to create custom tweak template for blogs and how to display the each blog fields in a separate div. Blogs are essential part of Drupal's content management system allowing you to place content and functionality throughout your website. Customizing the appearance of blogs using tweak template gives you a complete control over their design and layout. For this demo purpose, I have created one custom block type. Its name is footer and in the manage fields, you can see the fields which are there in this footer block type. So there are three fields. First is the body. Second is the logo, which is the image. Third is the tagline, which is the text. Now I will upload some data in this custom block type. My block type name is footer. So go to the content, click on blocks and click on add content block. After that select the block type as a footer. Now first I will add the first footer block. So I will give it name as a first footer block. After that upload the logo we'll upload this logo add the tagline first footer blog tagline also add the alt alt text for the image and in the body i will add the first footer block body and save this block the block is created now i will place this block so for that go to structure and the block layout i will place this block in the footers region footer bottom region for that click on place block and here is the name of our first footer block. Click on place block button. If you want to display title, you can display the title or you can uncheck this to not display title. And on which page you want to display this block. So I want to display this block only on this slash demo article page. So I will copy this URL paste here and save the block so block is saved now go to the our page and right now here in the footer you can see there is a blank space now we have placed footer block so it will appear after refreshing this page here you can see the block is placed now inspect this block so before starting the our coding part you need to enable the tweak debugging after enabling the tweak debugging you can see this file name suggestion to enabling the tweak debugging go to your drupal's sites folder default and copy the default.services file paste it and rename it as a services.yml after that go to that file and in the tweak.config enable the debug equal to true so initially it was false i have enabled it to the true and after that i am able to see the this file name suggestions right now you can see the output of this block is coming from the this tweak template block dot html dot tweak and it is placed inside the core themes olivero templates blocks blocks dot html dot tweak the tweak suggestion has suggested the multiple names and for this block you can see we are getting one suggestion block hyper apple footer bottom id olivero first footer block dot html Again, second is a block footer bottom HTML tweak and the block Alioro first footer block dot HTML. 
so for this block we will create the new tweak template and its name will be the block aluro first footer block dot html dot tweak copy this and go to our files so right now i am using the drupal score theme so i will do the changes in the core theme only go to themes if you have a custom themes you can do the same changes in your custom theme as well so my theme is olivero template block so right now the output is coming from this file block.html.tweak go to our page and i will show you here you can see block.html and the cross mark is appended before this file means the output is coming from this file now we will create the new tweak template and in that tweak template we can do our customization so just copy and paste this file control c control v also the copy this file name paste here now we will do the changes inside this file like uh, i want to add one parent class so right now the parent class of this is a block earlier first footer block but i want my custom class so we will remove this existing structure and class equal to academy save this file and clear the cache i will clear the cache using the drush command drush cr the cache is clear now go to the our page again refresh the page here you can see now the cross is appended before the new file which we have created the block olero first footer block dot html dot tweak file so this is our file and uh, now output is coming from this file and i will show you that class as well here you can see the custom class academy is appended and the rest of the content is placed inside this parent class like this logo second is the tagline and the third is the body but uh, in the html you can see the there are still the some drupal classes are attached to the div and we have requirement like you want to show the image in different div and the tagline and the body in the different div so for that we need to display the each fields data so i will explain you how can we display that as well so now i will display the image in a different div and the tagline and the body fields in a different div so i will give it name as a div class equal to logo close this div and we need to remove this content because it prints the all fields inside div is div we will display the image logo image img src equal to so to display the image the syntax for that is file underscore url content dot the machine name of the field our image fields machine name is field underscore logo copy this paste here after that zero in the square bracket hash item dot entity dot uri 
dot value and close the image tag in another div we will add the tagline and the body fields so div class equal to I will give it class name as a body and tag slash div so first I will display the body class equal to body class and we will print the body field so contain dot body dot zero close this div in the second div I will display the tagline class equal to tagline content dot machine name of that field so machine name is field underscore tag underscore line dot zero close this div save the file again clear the cache the cache is clear now go to our page refresh this page so here you can see uh, by inspecting this the logo is included inside the logo class and the body and the tag are included in the different classes so this is the body which has the class as a body class and the tagline which has the class as a tagline if you remove the zero from this content dot body it will append the drupal's template classes so that's why to remove those classes we have added the zero now i will add the one more block for that go to our backend click on add content block we will add the second footer block click on footer in the title i will add the title as the second footer block select the logo image add the tagline as a second footer block tagline and in the body change it to the body add the alt text and click on save again we will place this block inside the this footer bottom region for that click on place block click on place block button to place this block same way we will display this block on the demo article page save block the block is placed inside the footer bottom region now again refresh the page and inspect this second block so for this block you can see the tweak uh, which is applied is a block dot html dot tweak and uh, here in the suggestion we got the new name that is a block hyphen hyphen all your second footer block so this is on the basis of the block title so again if you want to add the same type of uh, div structure to this block again you need to create this new tweak template and repeat the same so to avoid this or to create the one common tweak template for the block type we need to enable the tweak suggestions so that we can enable using so we need to create the new hook that is the theme 
suggestion hook alter so inside the this hook we need to add the this code which will suggest the block template for the that particular block type so i have i had already added this and commented this code now i will uncomment this code inside this code you can see it is checking that if the block content is exist and if yes then the new suggestion for that block type will be block underscore underscore bundle underscore underscore and the name machine name of our block type so here you can add anything i have added the block underscore underscore bundle underscore underscore now save this code inside your theme suggestion block alter hook again clear the cache the cache is clear now again refresh our page go to our blocks and again inspect the block so here in the suggestion you can see now it is showing the suggestion of the file its name is block hyphen hyphen bundle hyphen hyphen footer dot html dot twig so this suggestion is generated using or uh, this hook block alter and we have added this code to display the suggestion now we will create the file with this name block bundle footer dot html so copy this go to our templates blocks and i will rename it our existing quick file name with the or this new file name and save it now we have created the common tweak for the all blocks which we have added inside the footer block type again clear the cache the cache is clear go to our page and refresh it now here you can see the same tweak is applied to the both blocks and we no need to create the separate tweak file for the each block and we have added the same classes and the div structure to the both blocks so this is the second footer block and same way for the first footer block as well so that's it from this tutorial you have learned how to create the custom tweak template for blocks in a drupal as well as create the common tweak template for the custom block type with custom tweak templates you can customize the appearance of your blocks and create a unique design for your drupal sites thank you for watching please like share the video and subscribe the our channel for the more drupal related content thank you for watching